what's good, YouTube family? It's your girl, Raven. And your boy, Jalen. And Chico. And today we are watch finally watching the Stanley, USA's most haunted hotel, Arbert. All right. If you guys are new to the channel, we did react to the first Stanley Hotel um, without people that are in this video today. If you want to check that out, that video will be right here, along with other Sam and Kobe reactions that we have. If you guys want to, you should check out those reactions right there as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell. That, that way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest. Let's get right into this video. Chico. Yeah. It's one of the spookiest hotels in the country. Known for a lot of its paranormal activity. The Stanley Hotel is the most famous and most haunted location in the United States. We actually have this entire place to ourselves. When we walked oh. in this room, I was like, there's someone here. Ooh. It's haunted. And it's been haunted for a long time. How'd they I've get the whole place to themselves? What? I feel like I've seen that girl, the other girl before somewhere else. I don't know how they got this place though long time awesome. i have heard voices been touched i've also been made oh, no. physically ill the estes method was created at the stanley <gasps> hotel we are going to interview the founder it's what? according to christian theology that is what a demon is right there oh that's terrifying <laughs> but it is the most haunted room here yes <gasps> oh wait we gotta skip through to this don't we so we could cut it yeah we'll just kind of yeah, because it's a lot. We'll cut all that. Fourteen degrees? Are you kidding me? Oh. By the time we get to the Stanley, it's gonna be a full-on snowstorm. This is our most viewed video on our yeah. channel that we've ever Still filmed is. ever. I'm so beyond excited. Amanda! Oh, oh a lot of people have asked for us to do Amanda and Mackie because apparently they do stuff on their YouTube channel. Oh. So. I remember. Actually, I do remember seeing that comment. Yeah. So. Let's get it. 50 likes. And no, we, I think y'all could do 60. 60 likes? Okay. I think we could push 60, it to 60 likes and we will take a look at Amanda and Mackie's YouTube channel. Mm. Y'all can do that. Period. Easily. That's scary as so. hell. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. That's it right there. Oh yeah. It looks so different in the winter. It's so different. Oh wow. Ooh. It's not red. It's Whoa. And we back, baby. <laughs> oh my god, we are actually here. Oh, what the hell? oh shit. Where? This. Probably not. A lot of people don't. Vortex. Right there. Oh, Vortex. Me. Yes. Oh, my God. So we originally had rented out 217. They said it's under construction or something like that yes. right now? We had things break. Things break? Like, by themselves? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we never did this elevator last time? Nope. This elevator calls the police randomly by itself. Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you recognize this? Yes, this is the staircase that this is Jake the... smacked his head on. Last oh, time yeah. we were here, we found a lollipop at the top, and that is supposed to be the trigger object for the ghost Lucy. Oh, shit. Oh. Something doesn't want us in this oh, room. Wait, wait. I like Why is it an open? Yo. Actually, what? what? That's the what happened hell? at Hotel Dell, I think. What the hell? No. What? Oh, How is that so easy that oh, time? Weird. It smells like a boys' locker room, dude. But this isn't the haunted room. We got another one, 428, which we actually stayed at the last time we were here. Second most haunted room here. Oh my God! Bag. Oh, Stop the old hotel, room. please. All right, let's see if we have more luck on this one than the other one. Oh shit! Oh, this one smells good. Whoa! This brings back. Mary! Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, the couch used to be over here. Yeah, blast from the past, though. This room's so much colder. It yeah. smells so good in yeah. here. Yeah, this was a little milky. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like, oh, like roses or something. This is the first time we've ever weird, used the spirit box. Yeah, can you imagine that? And we called it an EMF reader. <laughs> Look how much those ferns grew. Whoa! The They're trying to make it like the shining. <laughs> we might get snowed in here. Actually. And we don't have like snow. We have nothing. Here. And we're like the only ones staying here. <laughs> we have <laughs> Wait. Stephen King was That's the only insane. one to stay I, here. I, bro. One, How? I can't even like picture renting out something haunted like that and then being able to stay there by yourself. But the if they part. didn't, they wouldn't have content like this. That's true. Right? That's true. But. For the big and the brave, because 
I could never. I could, yeah. Nah, that's. Movie. Are you serious? Shit. This is like, what? I'm living this movie. I can, like, feel it. This, like, whole place has me feeling so weird. Can you pick up on a lot of stuff going like, on? Like, immediately or? when we walked into this room, I was like, there's someone here. They were already Ooh. here before we stepped in. Here's the ghost, apparently, of 428. 428. A couple years ago, back, somebody woke to find a Wild West coward pacing at the end of their bed. Right there, dude. That's Where just exactly yeah. I'm sitting right now. You're sitting on the cowboy's lap, bro. How's it feel? Feels great. After watching him for a few minutes, they politely <laughs> asked oh, him to leave, hangry. which he yeah. did, but not before leaning over to to the lady as if he was going to kiss her. What a creep! Female guests sometimes wait mm. to find him leaning in for a kiss on the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> I hope he kisses No, thank me. you. Yeah. Oh, sure. and now this go around, they actually have girls. Because you remember the guy who yeah. like, doesn't really... Yeah. That's right. So it was all boys last time. Yup, yup, yup. Chica, why do you keep licking your paws? Arr, 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 arr. He's feasting. <laughs> to dress up like girl tonight. <laughs> Guys, there's something we haven't told you. Is it that it's going to be 14 degrees here this weekend? Mm, we, didn't tell you that. we mentioned that. Sam has a demon in his ass. Oh. In? Emergency doctor. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, unlike our normal episodes, we are filmed the entire season one prior to it releasing. So we haven't really talked about this publicly yet. The last seven <laughs> places that we've been, we've been getting the same answers over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And oh. literally something is saying multiple different ways that there is something attached to me. Always comes in the same name. Points to even like the colors that I'm wearing. Mm, clearly picking you clearly out. Clearly picking me out. And I don't know whether to be scared or not. Do you like feel it with you? It only really feels weird when I'm at haunted locations. Oh my the gosh. The first time that I oh. ever like met you guys was for the Conjuring video, right? Lizzie yeah. Borden, all that. And then a lot of people were saying like, you guys should have had me see if Colby had an attachment to him or what was following Colby around. Comment mm -hmm. after comment was saying that something was with Colby. Why? And then I told my mom, he said there was something with them, but it wasn't attached to Colby, it was with Sam. <gasps> oh! So it's been with you no. since before I met you. No way. Um, but it's never been anything that like concerns Wait, so you think this was pre-conjuring? I think that this is pre-conjuring. Or you mm. saw it at the conjuring. Or you saw it like before I saw it before, Gordon like, yeah, when we, when I first met you, you had something with you. What? what? I don't know if I got or anything, but I do know when it's a normal spirit, I'm able to feel like if it was a man or a woman, or like, normally they just have something that they want to get across. Like usually it's family members with their family members or friends with someone like friends and it wasn't a family member and it wasn't a family member and it wasn't a friend it was just like an entity with you why did you think to tell uh. me <laughs> Like starting to do things makes me wonder if going to these places it's like giving it power in a weird way yeah like those weren't the words that i was gonna use but yeah like almost not feeding into it but like i mean it has to enjoy going to these places like a lot of the places you go are pretty gnarly high energy tragedies mm -hmm. happened and negative oh, things true. feed off of negative emotions fear that'll feed them last wow. night at dinner it was standing behind you probably like this close just to the right off of your shoulder could you tell if it was male or female or is it not like that it's like i keep energy. saying it for a reason didn't you say it was like the height of like a child yeah i was like and i yeah i said it was oh wait wait okay i'm so sorry for interrupting just I, thinking about that bro the height of a child so it's small yes but it's just disguising itself as a child oh Raven, just thinking about that, bro. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine just meeting somebody and then I just see something behind them. Yes. It's just like, <sighs> like off to the distance behind. Like, not like it's attached to his back or anything. Like, just standing right Just peering. Ah. Oh. That's terrifying. I would, I hate the feeling of something being behind me, even though there's nothing there. Yes. Ugh. 100%. But like, she did not just say that. Again, we we haven't put anything out about this. No. And she just said it was a fucking child? So we think. Well, the we, height of a child. The height of a child. Okay, okay, okay. We thought, I don't know if you ever heard of the Sally House. The Sally House is a little girl. You know, I've met her. My childhood home when I was 12, like I had to move out because there was all these demons attached to it. There was one point mm -hmm. I was around 10 years old maybe and I walked up to my dad in the hallway and I go, dad, there's a little girl in my room. The only thing that he ever said about it was like, Amanda, I want you to know that I've seen that little girl 
too. And that was the end, oh. end of the discussion. We never mentioned it again. I'm and then so many chills. years later, I'm in high school watching like BuzzFeed Unsolved. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, oh snap. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Sally House came up and they showed this drawing rendition. I'm shaking thinking about her. The down, down to oh the sleeves, the braids, the ribbons in her hair. That was the little girl that used to come visit me in my house. Dude, that is what we have been saying this Dude, entire time. Dude, okay, well, uh, this sounds uh, super meta. I'm like, we were kind of talking to ourselves like off camera like, Wait, what the like fuck? This shit yeah. because we were like inferring that maybe all these places that we were going to for season one all had like portals and this sally quote unquote sally whatever yeah. it is was like following us through these like, links sally. interesting damn is not actually a real thing sally never existed sally was like an apparition to be like oh i want to appear to be a little girl mm -hmm. and invite yeah. people in when you were telling me that it made me mad when you just said that saying you saw it at the conjuring house that's what now now we're okay fuck no we're... fuck no fuck no all right all right, all right hold on hold on hold what? on please that's i don't know better Better? <laughs> All right, we're good. We're prepared. No! We're not messing with nothing. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Kill okay. Kill okay. Okay. You're good, baby. I understand. You're good. <sighs> All right. We were like, okay, maybe we just need to go back to the Sally house and like drop her yeah, off. I like, don't know. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> you know, get her the yeah, fuck out. If this is at the Sally house, then we've never been to Sally house prior to conjuring and all that stuff. Right. This is before the Sally house. Why would it follow? See, that's that's, that's, that's the question. That's our main question. Like, that's why? the question. Yeah, mm. I don't feel like it's mm. so bad. Didn't you tell me before that you had thought Sam had someone attached to him? Oh! I told Mackie and your mom about my attachment, but not me. I didn't know you like that. Now I'm so confused because we were like on this whole Sally narrative yeah, for so like, long, and now I'm like, I'm literally like, what? Baffled. Like, where did this come from? It really doesn't matter. All we know is that there's something attached to you. At least it's not threatening, and we need to get yeah, it off okay. of you somehow. Yeah. yeah. However, there have been videos where it says malevolent. We came here because the likes, but this is known to be USA's most haunted hotel, and for one really specific reason, the basement to the staircase and up is known as one of the most powerful vortexes, AKA mm -hmm. a portal. You heard that too? Yeah. If this okay. Stanley Hotel mm -hmm. is this massive vortex and like one of the most powerful in the United States, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's something that you can know, send the things on. Okay, go yeah. with This was like the Disneyland for ghosts. So maybe it's a good spot to send somebody out. Let's catch everyone up to speed on why That'd the Stanley pretty Hotel interesting. haunted and then we'll take a look around. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, this is gonna be good. It actually feels like we've never left in a weird way. The Stanley Hotel is the most famous and most haunted location in the United States. We're coming at this investigation way better. We have three yeah. years of experience under our belt. This time we have a medium, and you'll never guess who we are interviewing today. Oh, I'm so excited. This is legendary. So why is this place called the Stanley Hotel? We didn't even cover this last time. <laughs> Not at all. So there was a man by the name of F. O. Stanley, and he was a very rich, wealthy man. This dude created for his time, which was early 1900s, the fastest car. It was called the Stanley oh, Steamer. What? Like the carpet clean. Oh, Stanley <laughs> No, he not also like helped no. Kodak build the first camera. But what's crazy about this story is that when he was 53 years old, he ended up coughing blood and got tuberculosis, oh, which we've talked oh, about oh. on our channel. Back then, oh, I could just feel that pain of just coughing, 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 Ugh. and then where it gets hoarse. Like... Yeah, but now once it because it got hoarse, it's like starting to get worse and worse, and you start bleeding, deteriorate ah. a little bit. And since they didn't really have the medical procedures to cure that, the doctor recommended that him and his wife would move to a spot with higher altitude for his lungs with cleaner air. So it's almost like hmm. he was placed around this area. Like he had no choice. He was terminally ill, about to die. And then he moved here, magically like recovered, and then ended up building this hotel. Him and his wife, hmm. Flora, was like, hey, I want to bring this town to life. And all sitting around his most prized possession. The Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel. And guys, like we were saying before, this is a Disneyland for the spirits here. This was actually just a resort for normal people when it was popping way back in the early 1900s. It was super high class too. A lot of people came here just to have a good time. Teddy Roosevelt and the Emperor of Japan even visited here oh just because God. it was dope. Most people only come here during the summer. Obviously it's in Colorado, Estes Park. It's freezing cool. here. So why do we come here in the winter? Because the story starts in the winter. The Shining. Oh, yeah. True that. 
Stephen King, obviously a very, very well-known writer. A lot of his like works made head. movies and stuff like that. Anyway, he was in a slump. He decided, hey, I want to go on a little vacation <laughs> to get the juices flowing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So on his way to find some juice, him I and his wife were sharky. on the highway. Sam and sharky? just like what happened today, they ran into a snowstorm. The last stop that they could make was at the Stanley. Hotel. Wow. They checked in, and guess what? It was the last day before it closed for the winter. Huh? He got the best room in the place, and they informed him when he walked in. He was the only one staying here. Stephen Hell King no. went into room 217. He had a nightmare about his little boy being chased by a mm -hmm. fire hose down the hall. Right? Oh, yeah. So in the movie, the little kid is riding the tricycle. Everybody knows that famous scene. He's going down the hallways Got and the two it. little girls okay. like randomly appear. What's weird is Stephen King's dream was about a fire hose chasing yeah. his son. But that whole nightmare is what created The Shining. Yes. And so he woke up in terror. There's in the Johnny. Night, mm -hmm. Went out Here. to his balcony yeah. and started smoking <laughs> cigarettes. Within that five minutes, we came up with The Shining as it yeah. is today. Sam and I actually booked that room when we figured out we were gonna come back to the Stanley after our video got the likes. And so we had the room booked under our names for like two months. And only like a week ago, we got a call from the Stanley Hotel saying, sorry, you guys can't come in anymore. It's closed for renovations, Damn. which is slightly mm. interesting. Yeah. What renovations do you have to do on a hotel room? What I'm trying to figure out is, are we doing a part three now? We have to. God, yeah. no idea. You stay alone in 217, I stay alone up here. Yeah, I like that video. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> we have Hell Week 2 coming up this year. What if we come back and we for sure get 217? <laughs> One of us stays in 217 alone. Why do you say one of us when I was just like, you're gonna do it? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what if I stay there alone with a night vision camera on the entire night? No flashlights. And we duct tape you. Completely. What? Oh, duct tape him no. is crazy. I'm literally on the ceiling. <laughs> For how many lights? Five. Thousand? Hundred thousand. Oh, shit. Do y'all see that shit? Oh. That's the way of thinking 500,000 likes. If they don't, we both sleep naked in the same bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's get into why it's haunted. Now, we were talking about 217, but what actually happened in that room to make it so haunted? The whole thing was powered by like electricity, and one day the electricity went out. Mm -hmm. And so in order to keep this place up and running, they had to turn on the gas. Now, there was a weird gas leak that was everywhere. So one day, this housekeeper named Elizabeth Wilson lights a match and immediately exposed oh, the shit. entire room. How did she ever survive that? She 100% survived and ended up coming on back. People that have stayed in what? this room also That's feel insane. poltergeist activity getting touched. Mm -hmm. Things have been caught like falling over, like doors have been opening. One of the main oh! reports is that their stuff is being moved as if Excuse being cleaned me. up. Beds getting no, made and you. stuff like that. Like no. typical house no. Jim no, Harry no. stayed in that room when he was filming Dumb and Dumber. Allegedly, mm. during the middle of the night, he had to run out of the room literally half naked because something happened that he won't <laughs> talk about. So I don't know if that says mm. anything. It's just kind of a fun Jim Carrey fact. Besides the story of Elizabeth Wilson in 217, so fourth floor is that's the most insane. haunted oh floor gosh. of this entire hotel. And we have no. one of the most haunted rooms. And that's just scratching the surface, guys. I think we should talk about who haunts this entire hotel. Starting with F.O. Stanley and his wife, Flora. They kept this as their pride and joy. They would obviously want to come back. F.O. Stanley is most commonly cited at the billiards bar, which we actually didn't get to investigate last time. No. 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 Playing pool all the time. Apparently there's a piano in that room too that he supposedly sits down and plays. But I don't know, it doesn't sound like he's a very malevolent spirit. Him and his wife Flora are often seen at what is called the Vortex. We actually first figured okay. out about oh, so what a Vortex what was here at the Stanley the three years ago. Probably vortex is was. two mirrors are facing each other mm -hmm. and there is a giant Vortex in the main hallway, in the main staircase. Another word for a Vortex is a portal. We have been talking about portals yeah. every single episode on this. So you can't make this shit up. Literally, it's too perfect. And I mean, if this is the meeting spot for all spirits, what if we use the vortex to get rid of that attachment? There has been many, many sightings, even people putting pictures on the news of these sightings of yeah. apparitions. <laughs> it's one is, of the oh clearest God. ghost pictures I've ever seen in my life. And I think that lady is Flora. Speaking of Flora, she is one of the most commonly cited ghosts here. A oh. lot of the stamp yeah, okay. that makes sense. So that was made because of gold, red, 
red and white, that's basically the main colors, are all her choices. The music room downstairs and the concert hall were built for her and she played many concerts there. Her presence can be known if you smell the smell of roses. Did we not say it smelled like flowers as soon as we walked into this that room? Is true. It smells like like roses or something. Did. The other thing that's awesome yeah, she had been known to be super emotionally volatile. She's kind of always on well, That's edge a very though. specific All right, so flower. moving on yeah. to Lucy, who is, it's of course, smell. another little girl ghost that's probably living in Sam's ass. I don't think we can say <laughs> little girls. <laughs> she supposedly died from exposure because she was homeless here and over the winter. She died. Oh, now, yeah, that's no right. There's no documentation mm -hmm. uh, of this hall. happening, mm -hmm. but that is the legend, and a lot of people have gotten the word Lucy mm -hmm. all the time. Another weird coincidence moment is she probably died around like this time. So she's known to move objects again, like we did last time with the lollipops. We literally mm -hmm. caught oh, the camera last hell time yeah. the lollipop moving things. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. What is the true form of Lucy? Is she actually a little girl that just wants to play, or is she <laughs> using that as a way to connect and attach to people? Lucy just wants a friend. Those were the first words mm. Sally said to us in Fort Henry. So this friend could have been Lucy the entire time. Oh uh, yeah, that was hey. It's very, very deep, and this literally goes back to our adventures back in 2019. Or it could just be a very similar story. That's kind of yeah, up for you to decide. That would be a we're coincidence of anything. Today. I liked the, watching this video last time. Beautiful. If you guys want to see us react into the original sailing video, that would be all the way up top. Check that out. God, it's creepy, right? Yeah, it's, it's super creepy. creepy. Beautiful. It's like where they yes. all travel in and out from. So Fo was the first ever owner. In fact, that'd be his portrait right up there. Did you see his Fo. F -O. Like, this guy. Oh, is that was his picture. Oh, I thought. Oh, that I that wish I could tell you more about these guys, honestly. Yeah, who is that guy? He's definitely a lizard person. You were saying that <laughs> what? they look <laughs> mirrors Shape each other to yeah. help the spirits. I thought help like, them move on. I thought. Like, Facing mirrors made it like worse. The thing is, is that the portal will happen regardless because of the place that we're actually situated on. We are actually founded on an entire lodestone of limestone quartz, which is a spiritually conductive rock right there. Oh! oh it's just a giant spirit battery we're sitting up on top of. Wow. That's not scary so at all. That out. Let's do it. Guys, welcome to Stanley's tunnel systems. Oh, oh, oh they talked about Hell it, but they no. never, yeah. Whoa. Awesome. Yo. Whoa. Oh, oh my god, Wait, I'm scared. Did we come in here? We definitely no. came in here for a second Ow. and just saw it. No. It was not in our video, though. You're getting a lot of deja vu. A weirdly, yeah. yes. I think we have been in here before. This is the last original tunnel that is not been caved in. More towards the end of this tunnel right here, where you're like, oh, whoa. whoa, 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 what, what? Was that just, is that Holy just like machinery? Shit. Not machinery, there's no machinery above us. Oh, it's an empty room. So that's gotta be something. That sounds like it's over there. Yeah, no, it's... It doesn't even sound above us. That's a lot of sounds. Well, now it does. It sounds like it's wrong, yeah. What are they doing? Nobody's outside. So it's definitely above us. Oh, why would anybody be there? Right now? Not entirely too sure. It is pretty late. Also, this crevice right here has what captured the? some paranormal activity. They're just gonna go past that like nothing? Yeah, we're just gonna proceed with the tour. Oh yeah, no, because that was clear as day. Bro, you like... Yeah, it sounded like... The ball. like but it sounded like machinery too. Yeah. Something, it got gradually louder. What we the are, heck? We're already starting off. It's only well. 20 minutes. Down in here, yeah. It looks like Gollum. Oh my god. No. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that does look like Gollum. Holy shit. <laughs> Careful about calling him that, because uh, he might know he has his precious. You guys said it first, not me. Yeah. So this is the battery. This is the battery right here. You guys want to see something particularly terrifying? Yeah. Could you get your light right on this side of the truss right here? You see that wooden oh. shim sticking out the left side of the truss? Like right there? Right that there. Thing right there. That is the hardest working thing in the Stanley Hotel because uh, turns out that shim right there carries the majoral weight of the hotel. And if it gives out, we slide off the side of the Rockies, becoming the largest pile of rubble here next to <gasps> What? And there's yeah. a golem thing crawling around this area? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, if I was coming back here, 
about this place, I would want this to still be a hotel so people keep coming around. True, you people want to have your home there, you know? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> you have to have the place. Oh. Exactly. Is there it does. Is yeah. it down there? there no, 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 no. I'm here at this house. Sure. Hey. So you know how hmm. Stanley Hotel is in a place called Estes Park? Can you guys know how we method. do this little method <laughs> called the Estes Method? What we did not realize is the Estes Method was created in Estes Park. What oh, the Oh, get heck? the fuck I out of here. I honestly... Stanley no. Hotel. I had what? no connection to that. I did not put two and two together. Nah, I was slow to it too. What in the world is going on? What is going on? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. I cringe at myself, y'all. Anyways. The full circle moment. The first investigation we ever bought a spirit box was here. We are going to interview the founder of the Estes Method at Stanley That's Hotel. Insane. How did they get this guy to come I don't know if he's ever mm. done this before. I don't know. One way to find out. Here we go. Let's go talk to him. You guys are here at the legend. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. My name is Connor Randall. I've been a paranormal investigator for a good uh, 15 years now. Started wow. when I was just a young teenager. Oh, and then wow. I worked here at the Stanley running their paranormal program in a lot of ways and was one of the resident paranormal investigators up here for five years. Wow. So pretty Whoa, much like five years. lived up at the hotel. He's been studying like this hotel. Hand. Yeah. yeah, so I got you. have had a lot of fun diving really deep into paranormal experiments, parapsychological experiments. The weirder, the better. You Kind of take a more scientific approach to it, right? Sure. I'm really device-based. I appreciate having instruments. That said, I've learned a lot about the human body as an instrument as well. Oh. Really? Being here and working here for five years, yeah, I was able to see a long-term view of for what sure. this place is like, which is unusual. Most people come in and out for a few nights. I think it's haunted because people believe that it's haunted. Imagine it as sort of like a oh. beacon of light where it's like, this is a place where you will be listened to. You could have mm. bet that 365 nights of the year, there's probably at least one person here who wants to talk to the ghost. True. Mm. They probably think, the ghosts probably think it's like a safe space, like for all of them to be together. Possibly, possibly, I guess. I don't know. That's I mean, a that's really good point. Have you ever heard of something called an egregore, an egregore? It's kind of like that in a, in a sense, like right? That. It's a thought form. Now, I've heard mm. a lot of stories of like historical spirits here where it's like, oh, F.O. Stanley, the old yeah. owner, people would see him in the lobby, Mrs. Wilson in room 217, people hear children running up and down the hallway because we're on the fourth floor, right? right? <laughs> a lot of the people who experienced activity here, it wasn't from somebody in an old Victorian dress, if that mm, makes sense. Yeah, it's more modern. Yeah. So does that mean... You believe in attachments? No, I think so. I think it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Damn. You're saying the Hans could have been brought here and or other things could have come here through, let's say, the vortex? Sure. Mm. Or whatever. whatever you want to call it. What would you call that? I would call it a, a beacon of attention. <laughs> Here's the famous hedge maze. Dun, dun, oh, wow. Dun. Damn, wow. Yo, we're never going to see him again. Okay, so this is what literally happened in the movie. He ran yeah. this way. In the he snow. The corner. Yeah. And remember, this kid was so smart, he like got rid of his snow tracks. Yeah. See that? And then he ran the other way. Like, it was, dude, I love that scene. Dude. Come here, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. built this for Flora. Flora Stanley, since this was kind of built as a love letter to her, has been seen walking across this very stage. In fact, she usually enters from stage right, right over there. Pensively walks back and forth across stage before exiting wow. the stage right again. They kind of play on loop as if you're watching a 3D movie. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Residual. You may have done your research on them beforehand, but we do have Lucy, Paul, and Dennis that walk in this very concert hall even this day. Dennis, what? however, is the one person that we do not want to meet here tonight because Dennis has the uh, unfortunate attribute of leaving scratches on the backs of people's necks. Mm. Oh. Backs when he does arrive here. Do you know if they used to have like spiritual parties here and stuff? Keep that in mind because I want to tell you a little bit more about that. With you were just talking. I was yeah. before we went That's to dinner. Fire. And She's so fire. Room. This woman walked in and she was in a white dress and like woven sun hat. You know what I mean? It was like beige. She just like stopped and looked at me and she was super polite. She goes, "Good afternoon." And I said it was almost like she was stuck mm -hmm. in a little loop. The other thing I thought was like I kept seeing Ouija boards. Oh. Mm. 
sick. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Idea. The two most active spirits we ever ran into here was a spirit named Lucy and a spirit named Eddie. Now, a lot of people have heard of Lucy. Yes, she's pretty famous. She's supposedly a young homeless woman who froze to death outside. My teammates and I, we, we never oh, found anything about yeah. a young woman who died from exposure. And <sighs> like you'd think they would know if somebody was living in the basement. I don't know what started the story, and I don't really think that the story of Lucy is true, but hmm. something is there. I've interacted with Lucy. And okay. maybe you guys have interacted with Lucy. <gasps> so what brought her here? <laughs> so that is interesting. So maybe it was just everyone bringing their own baggage and it just created Lucy. Their own version? Hmm. What I this is this is very intriguing. It's scary but intriguing. That's because this is not anything that just anybody who you really want. I don't know, just like what am I trying to say? It's not talked about enough as opposed to like the everyday you know never mind. Never mind. It's fine. I had a point but Wait, I don't even know what you're saying. It's okay. I forgot. Never mind. Either something is wearing the hat, acting. Oh my oh god. god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just everything that we've been like I, talking I about. Whole body chills. Me too. Like, Me too. Kidding. This whole place could be haunted by one ghost who just likes to put on disguise. Like it's a puppeteer of a bunch of. Oh, like in the basement um, of those. If you take ten thousand people mm. on a ghost tour for fifteen years and you tell them this story of this homeless woman who died and it's so sad, etc., etc. Oh. Perhaps it's possible that they created the. Consciousness of the spirit themselves. Mm. I see. Wow. Instead of it just being there, already. her and like, oh, we've gotten her. We've gotten her voice. I've heard her do a sing-song humming in empty buildings and rooms. What? Have you um, seen the the lollipop thing happen or no? I'm not sure. I think that might be the same sort of trick, like the Ouija board, where something going on. Mm. You're not sure. Yep. So I don't oh, know about okay. that, but I do know I have audibly caught voices of a of a young woman <laughs> answering to Lucy. That. Wow. <laughs> I'm ready to see the S's method. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucked. Yo, I recognize this room. You do? It is on like the news for closing doors and random stuff. Oh, that's terrifying. Welcome to Lucy's room here, guys. Huh? What we do know about Lucy is that she would be a runaway. To get away from the cold, she would break into this very concert hall and squat in this very room. For some reason, we were still able to afford a caretaker. One of the theories goes that he came in here one night looking for Lucy and to find her frozen, dead corpse. Oh. Splayed out along the carpet right here. Right there? What? Right there. Mackie, you have a scratcher. Yeah, the guy said outside. I thought it was in the concert yeah, hall. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why I was like, huh? But I pre Probably met outside of the hotel. Oh, yeah. Maybe. It's maybe, yeah. She just said, he just said scratches. Splayed out along the carpet right here. Right there? What? Right there. Mackie, do you have a scratch rack? Where? Wait, stop. Don't say that. Oh, I see it. It's Where? like a tiny bit of red. It looks like two marks right there. Y'all start eliciting things like this. I got to get out of here. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> to come back to this job. That is Lucy's closet. That was the one place she favored during her life to hide away from that same oh, caretaker. For so sure. That makes a lot of sense. You actually look down to the left of it, you can still see one of the original tunnel systems. Did we see this last time? Oh, I don't barely remember this. I kind of remember that too. I would hear a girl shrieking and crying at the top of her lungs for a solid 10 seconds before it cut into dead silence. You, you heard that with your own ear? Uh, yep, and it was the worst experience I've had here, and I hope to never have another one. And you've only been working here for, what, three months? Three months. Oh wow. my god, so it's recent. Yeah, we got the mind. Solid 10 mind seconds. Plan. Yep. Oh. Who's Eddie? Eddie is really interesting. We started to notice over and over again who we initially called the smelly man. Because we didn't know anything else about it. There would be this like bad BO smell that would come through oh. and then an object would move. And so it was like, what's... If we I didn't hear. know about that. Yeah, no. sometimes. Whoa! Just, wow! <laughs> I saw a black oh. jump up once. We saw, we've had doors and windows slam in our face. Oh my god. Things not be where you left them here occasionally. Eddie oh, so maybe was the name was that we got time. initially because a whole bunch of people no, who said they were psychics or mediums would start to just say that name and we're like, ah, I don't know about that. And then we started to get it on devices over mm. and over again. Ed. 
Edward, Eddie, and it would usually be followed by some scary word sometimes. Blood, anger, blah, 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 something like that. It almost seemed like it was in sort of a hokey way, like he was trying to scare people in a sense, because nothing ever really bad happened. It started to become more and more to the point where he was essentially our most active spirit. Wow. Oh, yeah. When we started doing the Estes method, it was him that would talk over and over again. People would hear, feel uh, kisses on their cheek. They would Ooh. feel uh, oh. a slap or a touch on the behind. There would oh, be wow. a lot of object <laughs> moving. I don't want to say that Eddie has like, oh, he's all my ghost, he's followed me. But then some stuff started to happen in my home as well. Oh, wait. And so, <laughs> oh, so we're so like, he followed so follow well, I mean, I something. kind of left an open invitation, to be honest. I, I was like, ah. Show the world right now that you can cause some damage if you really wanted to. Yeah, is that bad to, to leave an open <laughs> invitation? I don't know. It's a that is time. true. He did do that. Why, all right? the time, man. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. I think that Eddie came up here with somebody in 2013 and was getting attention and stuck around. So much of the stuff oh. that you hear about, like the, the old fashioned ghosts are very much sort of residual entities, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a record of time is broken and it keeps replaying. Yes, yes. Um, frankly, I noticed more in the winter time than in the summer. And we're here right now. <laughs> yeah. so, That's why all yeah. of Good luck. Concert halls mm -hmm. where the majority of my interactions took place. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my god. Why <laughs> do you think that they is? They get a Maybe picture in concert hall. Sort of yes, they did. That one scary like, looking picture. So. Didn't they say, didn't one of them say they saw her peeking? The yeah, the peeking. Creep, yeah, That's the, the creepy picture. girl. Yeah, yeah. That's so, a, hmm. Oh, the eyes. Yeah. There's space to have some space. In fact, uh, a lot of interactions with Lucy were in the basement of the concert hall, which is allegedly there. where she was staying. For sure. When Eddie started to come around, we started to notice a little bit less from Lucy and the other spirits. There was another ghost mm. named Paul we used to talk to. Oh, he was like a drunk names. guy, or like he likes alcohol or something. He was, I guess, an old security guard who worked here back in the day who passed away shoveling snow, had a heart attack. Oh, Damn. Oh, gotcha. So he'll walk around the outbuildings at night. You'll hear his keys jingling. And, uh, oh, hey, you know, you gotta get mm. out of here. This is what is known as Paul's room. Mm. Uh, Why'd you close the door? <laughs> <laughs> I know I gotta practice doing that all the time to spook people. But uh, yeah, you can even see right there that that is a little tribute left to Paul himself. Bit of a jack of all trades kind of guy around here. Definitely more your groundskeeper, maintenance guy, but more than anything, he loved to play security guard. He would only work with us from about 1985 till about 2005, because the uh, winter of 2005, he was shoveling those very steps outside what? the house when he oh. was for a heart attack. This is the one room where he shows up the most. I can move okay. you to the most haunted park right here until okay. the main hall of the basement turns out. Let's see. Mm. Okay. So I know it may not seem as like tight or as oppressive as the other rooms, but it is the most haunted room here. It is because of that very mirror right Wait, now. actually? Actually, yeah. Back oh. in the 80s, it was dropped off at our doorstep. We don't know where it came from. We don't know yeah, who yeah. dropped it off. We have over 13 known spirits here in the concert hall alone. Whoa! It looks like a dress. <gasps> it does. I'm glad you caught that because with the thinner top and the more bulbous bottom right there, chances are that would be a woman going to one of the parties here oh. during her life. Wow. We had a family on our tour right here, and they would be joined by a spirit. Oh no. Oh. Peering at them. Oh my god. Through the other side. Yo! Right there. Oh. Hey, that's Bro, that just look. I'm about to throw up. That looked too real. I'm about to throw up, bro. <sighs> Baby, take deep breaths with me. Ready? Bro. Well, let's not watch it again. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, go ahead. In the early 1900s, it'd be pretty close. I mean, it's been redone, it's been refinished. There's no other tours in here, are there? Do you oh. just hear something? Oh. No. What's up? I it sounds like there was people upstairs. Like, it sounded like people were talking and walking. Where did you hear that coming from? Kind of like up Like, yeah, this area. I heard that way. Like, up into the left. It's just the concert hall, but, you know, our patrons, especially that one photo I did show you of that woman in the kind of dress right there, spirits do like to just pop around and mingle a lot of the times upstairs, too. You were the founder Just catching up and inventor of the SS method. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's this is really putting everything together, and it's making a lot more sense. This just. It's a lot we didn't know about. And that's I, I love this. legendary. You know, how many that is legendary. Use that? Yeah, it kind of blew up. We started using the SS method maybe six months yeah, ago. Yeah, in the Conjuring because, House. And six months ago. It's literally like changed the way we investigate. Mm -hmm. Was it created in the Stanley Hotel or just Estes? Yep, in the Stanley. Mostly in the basement of the concert hall. 
Oh, <laughs> we have to do it in the basement. We have to. <laughs> That's the original 100%. spot. The Yeses method is a parapsychological experiment. One person is what you call the receiver, and they'll listen to a spirit box. A spirit box is the device that scans through radio frequencies really quickly. And that person is sitting in their own world. They can't hear anything that's going on around them, and they say what they hear come over the box. Mm -hmm. The other people in the room are the questioners. You said you watched a video or two yeah. of ours. Do you have good. any like tips or that sure. would make this better for us in the future? For sure. Not only have I spent trying not to brag like probably 200 hours like listening to the box, sort of being under, I have people sending me their sessions now as well. Here's my, my top tips. If you're the receiver, if you're listening, you want to be as comfortable as possible. You want to okay. sit back. If you can find a rocking chair, that's even mm -hmm. better. That sort of like rocking back and forth motion can help you enter into that trance-like state. The lower okay. And you think being in a trance-like state like helps you concentrate yourself? Just like a relaxed that? Absolutely. Little yeah, you think right. you need to sort of empty your mind and become as much of a conduit as you can. It's almost like meditating in a way, it's right? It's very meditative. And it's important that you don't editorialize. Don't say, it sounded like a male voice said banana. You're putting yourself too much into it. Mm -hmm. All you would say okay. is just, Banana. As you're sitting back and listening, some things might start to happen to you, and that means that you're entering into a really good session. It's possible that your eyes will start to water. That actually happens to people who are under hypnosis as well. You need to have a good oh, system for waking yeah, the person true. back up. It's really scary if you just shake somebody on the shoulder. Oh, we right? do that. We do that every time. time. It's funny. I mean, if you want to prove me, like sometimes people will implement smells so they can sort of more gently wake up oh. like that. For the oh. questioner, everybody else in the room, you want to be asking for what I call control questions. Every few minutes, I'll ask something really random. Can you name a bird? Any kind of bird? Something that the person on the box wouldn't necessarily be expecting oh. you to ask. If you're oh, sitting in the room, I'm okay. like, oh, I'm in the room at the ghost of Maggie, who was a maid. The person who's Lizzie Borden? The <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? That was the scary. The person who's on the box, they're going to have that in their mind. Dang, we've been doing this kind of wrong, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, at least you're getting the knowledge now. I think now. that if you sit somebody down creator. and you tell them, you're going to be hearing weird noises over this box, we want you to say what you're hearing. I think that they might enter into a perfect sort of trance state. They become a conduit and it almost is like the words are being psychically received. What's putting those words in their mind? It could be the entities out there, or it could be that they're picking up on the psychic impressions of the people around them. It's the human body as an instrument of oh, communication. Like we are the ghost equipment. Whoa! <laughs> you are. People always say, well, it's yeah. just in your mind. But in my view, that doesn't mean that something didn't put it there. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again? That doesn't <laughs> you are. People always say, well, it's just in your mind. But in my view, that doesn't mean that something didn't put it there. That's our room. We didn't have the TV on. 428 right there. Yeah. Wait, you're saying in 428? No, we're in 426. We are. Six, they're in 428. We're you're in 428? Yes. Careful, guys. You might get a cowboy kissing on you here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but that TV is definitely on. Yeah, we definitely didn't have it on. Wait, so is this the billiards room right here? This would be the billiards room. I see. So apparently, this is where FO is seen to be playing some billiards. FO Stanley balls right yeah. there. In fact, you see those ones that are yellow <laughs> right there? Those are made of 100% pure ivory. This very oh, wow. right there has caught the visages of Afo and Flora walking in long step. Our scary Mary would take about four of our tour guides down to Lucy's room to where uh, she would pull out a Ouija board and they would try to contact the mm. dead. It only lasts in there about 10 minutes though because after lights on it, two of the tour guides were passed out not being able to be woken until five minutes after lights on. Oh, oh, no. What the oh, hell? The other tour guides, he had apparently seen a dog standing about two inches away away from his face. A dog? He's bared and his ears back looking like it was about to strike. Oh, oh my god. And it looked like uh, anything that is between harsh. a Doberman, a German Shepherd, <gasps> and a wolf. According to a lot of different people, that's what's known as a black dog or a hellhound right there. Okay, but if you see a hellhound or like a black dog like that, you're about to die. Like it's like a sign, like a, it's an omen. What? If you do make a oh, deal shoot. with the devil and your time is about to come, he sends his hounds to collect your soul. Oh! That's Oh, I mean, they were playing with the Ouija board, so like, yeah, they're it's the worst point. That kind of stuff, right? Dude, like in Call of Duty, <laughs> Call of Duty Zombies, fetch me their souls. And then the dog round happens. Oh, so that's, that's what that essentially would be. Essentially, yeah. Kill them. Bring me their souls. Oh. 
pray I never oh, see that. Oh, well, you didn't make a deal with the devil, so no. That's yeah. true. Yeah. No Ouija boards that I'm talking yeah. to you. Yeah, you. we don't do the. And you. Never have, never will. Uh oh. You're gonna be stripped of 20 to 25 decibels of room noise alone, and then you add the box on top of that. There's no. You could put this on anybody, even if you think they're faking For it. For sure. And they're not gonna. They're not gonna hear anything beyond. I've had success with both AM and FM. I tell people to relax as much as possible, and then start to rock with the rhythm. Of Yo, the wait. You subconsciously. Oh, do he that does. He does. Time. For some yeah. random reason, he just did that That's automatically. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he does. That's that. cool. You're picking up on it. So hey. You know, you could be a really good receiver. And <laughs> so you get to the point where you have solid communication, I'm sure. See, that is something I really, 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 really want to work or... on in season no, two. Yeah. It's just like being that sort of meditative like person instead of freaking out in every situation. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you are the Stanley, though. But you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So, <laughs> one of the other things we use sometimes is headphone splitters. Have two people listen to the box at the same time. Oh, oh I've never tried, tried that. that. Yeah. We did no. that the first this time. This is the, the box we used. You said it again? They did that the first time with yeah. the earbuds. Oh, yeah, they did. Too hot? <sighs> How do you feel so far? I feel good. I'm ready to, to create see the this. method. Yeah. Yes. No way! Yeah, yeah, this one. So this was the old wow. tour guide stickers, and, and we were <laughs> that was the SS original method. box that created the SS method. Yeah, yeah. It's time to do the SS method. My name's Connor, and I'm the co-creator of this crazy method. So mm -hmm. see oh, this is gonna be awesome. Anyway. Okay, good. Colby, actually, we had one question real quick. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's out a hundred percent. Touch it. There you go. So if there are. Park. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna be hearing stuff, and we wanna make sure we can sort of direct the conversation and see if this is just radio noise, mm -hmm. or see if this is communication, right? Ooh, if there okay, are any okay. spirits here. My name's Connor, this is Colby and Sam. You this might recognize control all question. of us. We've mm -hmm. all been here, and we want to speak with you, and we'd like to say hello. We wanna talk to you, wanna communicate with Test. you. I am asking this as a favor of any spirit who's here at the Stanley who's listening now. If you could get prepped for tonight. Here. Tonight they're gonna hmm. be working through some methods and some experiments here at the hotel. I know that there's a lot of ghosts here and I want to give you permission to speak through them. They're very open now. They're ready to talk. He's doing his bop in the head. Yeah, it's good. All of your thoughts sort of leave your mind. It's mm -hmm. kind of relaxing in a sense. Method. Mm -hmm. I want to know if you can see us. Maybe say our names. Familiar. Oh, Ooh, you are familiar with us. Probably know you. him. I've been here a while too. He's back. <laughs> hey, he's back. <laughs> My first time here in a year and a half. My name's Connor. Hey. Hi. It's oh, good wow. to be here with you. We're in room 428. If anybody in the hotel can hear me right now, and we want to speak with you. Arm. We're going to have him on this box, and then later on tonight, they're going to really experiment. Look. Can you name what you want us to look at? The stairs. Oh, that's cool. With, with the oh, yeah, probably. Are you yeah. describing the stairs? What does the carpet on the stairs look like? I simply want to know if you can see what we can see. Hmm. Where you been? Oh, heard that. Mm -hmm. Where <laughs> you been? Time you. I, uh, I've hey. been out there uh, <laughs> exploring in other parts of the country, and you're welcome. It's really talking to him like this. Yeah. But I don't. I'm sure he can't see. Which I think would be scary. I don't know. No, nah, he like can't both see. Scary. No, it is both scary. Just hearing it, yeah, and then Facts. hearing it and not seeing it is making it worse. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come along anytime. Do you miss Connor? Yep. Hey. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. That's really nice. Oh my god. That means he was really good with them. Are you a spirit yeah. I've talked to before in this he's, hotel? He's very gentle. I was there. Yeah. Okay. When was that? Ten years ago. Damn. Seven years ago? You already know. Music. Lucy's oh. the one who would like music sometimes, so it could be her too. Okay, maybe. I had to. Are you talking about the concert hall, or is there a certain type of music you'd like Sam and Colby to play for you? Basement. Uh -huh. basement. basement of the concert hall, yeah, that's right? Where, that's where they hang out. Yeah. If they go to the basement of the concert hall later, will you speak with them? I'm there. Wow! <laughs> oh my wow. God. Over there. 
Yeah, over there in the concert hall. Like I said, once you turn the beacon on, yes. <laughs> once you turn it on, they can communicate. They he literally has an antenna in his hands, and in a sense, is becoming an antenna. The last like, oh, two months. Oh, god, that was what he was. The red, pretty the stairs. Stairs are red. Wow. Yeah, so maybe he's answering that a few minutes late. Yeah. We failed to mention that we pretty much believe through all of our SS sessions that there is a little girl that's been around us. Okay. Thought that she was from this me. place called the Sally House. Here. Me here. Oh. But right we have a medium here with us today and she believes it could have is... could have been Lucy and or someone prior. Right. This is before the Sally House. I wouldn't expect it to be the literal spirit of Lucy, like I said. But... Yeah, that's what we're like worried about is someone who's impersonating Lucy. It's possible. I think mm. that there's haunted people, not haunted places in that mm. sense. Because okay. another thing that you'll notice and I Music. I kind of like that he's not going to hear this, and I'll just tell it to you, because see if <laughs> it happens later on. Sometimes they don't answer Beautiful. your questions directly, but they make you aware that they can see what's happening in the room. You'll walk across huh. the floor, and they'll say, seven steps Next one. across the floor. You know, they, it's like they're watching. You should. You, yeah. But they're not answering directly. That makes sense. We'll watch out for that, we'll too. See if that Indirect happens. answers. Is there, like, perhaps a... Name. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Name. no. <laughs> That's crazy. Like a name that you could give us, what? whether it be one of our names or your name. I know her. Perhaps you could at some point give her a sign. I'm trying. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we just want to have you stick around with us so you can communicate later tonight. Do you think you could do that? Could stay with us. Come find out. No <laughs> way. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try All one right. more control just to see if you can still hear me from the concert hall. No. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Well, well, not skinny, did you say go. Eddie go? He's a jokester. Did, did you yeah, didn't you say Eddie was a jokester? His nickname was asshole, actually. <laughs> there's a concert. Name. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there's a name down in the concert hall that you'd like to go by later tonight. Or a name that can trigger that it's you. It's, it's been a while. The same spirit that we're talking with. Could you give us a hint? Colby. Oh my god. <gasps> it's said <so laughs> Colby. Wait, didn't you <laughs> ask Jeff yeah, to oh, recognize who? One of us. Yeah. You. We got the description of the stairs a few minutes later too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watching. He's doing well. I imagine when he takes it off, hopefully he had a really empty. The mind. keys. Just as a final question. The keys outside. Um, Friend. No way. <laughs> I was literally gonna ask that. I don't know if that ruins that, but wow, friend. No way! A long time ago, someone that was with me said that they just wanted to hang out to become friends. Was that you? Yes. Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> no way. Thank you for answering. Thank you so much. We'll be speaking with you later tonight as well. So I'm just gonna kind of tap gently around him because I don't want to totally jar him away. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> instead of like, instead of like doing that. Instead of yeah, oh yeah. Because I'll get spooked. Hell personally, yeah. So. Hell yeah, not ruin all vibe. Yeah, no, I'm saying like doing something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, actually, it's possible that your eyes will start to. Oh my god! Yeah. Whoa, does Yo, that make any sense? God. Right off the bat. You were like, I miss him. I'm glad he's back. Really? Like, it was, it was <laughs> super nice. Like, hey, it's you. Welcome back. Yeah. And then right, right at the end, whoever kept pointing to the concert hall. He said, are you going to be able to go over there and talk to us? And he specifically said the basement of the concert hall, which That's is... That's where you talk to Eddie, right? Seemed like they might have been throwing their answers from there. And, and Lucy, yeah. Lucy and oh Eddie. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm ready to see It's just weird to me that we basement. actually yeah. have this entire place to ourselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The music room, okay. This was where the hauntings kind of started. Uh, right here? Turns out uh, Flora Stanley, she was a leader of that spiritualism movement. Can you guys think of how she entertained the wives? Ouija board sesh? Uh, not quite. Damn it. Seances? Seances. Of course. Seances. Oh, yeah. Do you know if they used to have like spiritual parties here and stuff? Flora Stanley held seances here at the hotel. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then she died and this becomes thought. USA's most haunted hotel. <laughs> she held seances and then died at the same hotel. That just doesn't happen unless you provoke something to happen to that's you. That's just crazy. That doesn't seem real, but that's just the, the harsh reality. Yeah.
all the way up until about 30 or so years of sales. Wow. We yeah. should bring it back. For you guys, I'm able to do this one thing and that is lift the lid. Lifting it reveals the keys right here. And the funny thing is that if you ever find <gasps> the keys, I said the keys. The key. I'll, I'll tell you yes. later. I'll tell you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually hear a G minor being played and the scent of rosebuds kind of wafting around. Oh! It. Rosebuds. Dang. That would be Flora. <laughs> oh you wow. saw his he, face. He went. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. That was crazy. <laughs> Guys, this looks hilarious, bro. He looks like a, a fish. Like out a of flounder. water. Yeah. Like it's screaming. <laughs> Stop. Shark! Shark! Stop. Around it. Rosebud. <laughs> that would be flora. It smells like, like roses or something. Yeah, the R room reeks of flowers. Reeks of flowers? Yeah. yeah. It's like a we walked in. Moment. Smell. That it might be flora. Like right someone there. took mist and like sprayed it around the room when we walked in. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's definitely oh, true. Right. I appreciate yeah. you so much. Remember that's when so they went in there the first time and said it smelled like ass walking in that room. So it had to be Flora. Yeah, because then it was probably the other guy that smelled like Dio. <gasps> that's that Ed. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Possibly. Obviously, go check him out. He created the Estes <laughs> method. <laughs> Knows probably more about Stanley than anybody else in the world. So, guys, give him a big thank, thank you. Thank you, us. Connor J. Randall. That's me online. Anytime, I'll answer any questions. Sounds like we have a crazy investigation to do tonight. <laughs> Without a doubt. Hello? Did she go? Hello? What the Jesus. fuck? <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Oh, they pulled that off. That's what. <laughs> Listen, they got you. They got you, bro. Cause he turned it real quick, and it just looked like a damn spirit was just it moving. Went, the effects of it. Uh, you okay? Can we, uh, can we continue? Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. You cannot be serious. Oh, I cannot shit. believe it. That's cool. And they were saying that. We've that seen a lot of fire. ghosts, but I swear <laughs> that was the most terrifying thing we've ever seen. That was one of the. Hello? That was scarier than any paranormal experience I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. You guys came prepared. The famous freaking famous mirror. mirror. One, two, three. We back at the Stanley guys. Let's <laughs> get You know what to do by now. Oh, Subscribe yeah, that's true. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, for Stephen King's King. King. Ah, half a million oh. likes. We're coming back to 217. No matter what. Even right. if we have to break down the door. Sorry, Stanley. Oh. Guys, we came out with some season one merch. It's very oh. minimal. It's only available for a limited time, that's so nice. go. First spot of investigation, we decided to do it right in front of Mr. Stephen King's room. 217. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody just opened the door? Yes, because that happened last time you knocked on the door. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was 100% a knock. Not even kidding. It sounded like someone was in there. Housekeeping. <laughs> We're back here at 217. Housekeeping. Oh! Walk in. Okay. That? I'm dead. I'm dead. We just finished a tour here at the Stanley Hotel. We just want to talk to anybody that's here. Is there anybody that wants to talk to us? Fourth floor. Dude, it's saying something. Talk, talk, talk. What room are we in front of right now? What was that? Do you recognize any of us? Flip that. I cannot out. tell what that says. Mm. It only does this after yeah. you ask the questions. Boy. So it is answering. Anybody want to talk to us? Watch us say, like, come in. Me? Me. Yeah. 20 years. Did you used to work in this hotel? 
I know. Do you recognize the name Stephen King? Oh, that's a different language. That's another Latin. Latin. Oh. Do you recognize us? He tells the number of people oh. that are here. Oh! oh. Yes. It got it. I'm Ed. Wasn't that guy evil? No, he's a tree. No. No. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Is this Ed we're talking to? Do you know a guy named Connor? I don't oh, know. Oh, I following us around yeah. today. Parliament. Something. Parliament. Parliament. I really want to speak with Eddie. What? Don't. Out or no. don't? Yeah. Eddie always says things like that. Do you want us to go to a different building? Maybe oh, you're gonna need help for about like 10 minutes now. It sounds like something is trying to like communicate yeah. back to us, like for sure. And it could be Eddie. The fact that it was playing music over and over and over and over again yeah. just makes me think that they wanted us to go to the concert hall. Flora was a class Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, true. I don't know if we got any like Elizabeth Wilson in 217, but maybe we would have had to be in there. Definitely something was talking to us. But, you know, yeah. Let's move on. Huh. Red rum. So oh my them. god. <laughs> This is so scary. Oh my god. Red rum. Red <laughs> rum. Literally. The way he's saying it is just so funny. Why did you do that? Oh my god, that looks freaking <laughs> terrifying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even look like ours. No! <laughs> Thanks for letting us use your lipstick. Oh yeah. Oh, anything yeah. for the video. Look, like, it's all flat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I gotta I'm buy so a new sorry. one. Get right, another guys, one. Our next investigation is here at room 428. If you know from last time, this was our most successful successful investigation. Apparently, ghosts hate vacuums. People say that they turn off vacuums, unplug vacuums, oh. and just get scared. So I decided to bring a vacuum. Wait, I should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Imagine that's how we end the video. <laughs> Alright, I am here. See you next time. <laughs> No, <laughs> you guys ever play Luigi Mansion? All they do is suck their ghosts up. Yeah. That is a fact. That is a fact. So. All right, let's start investigating. So, <laughs> speaking of this cowboy that's in here, he's apparently supposed to be at the foot of the bed. Yes. Let's put this little rim pod right there. Dude, the rim pod has been clutch really? these past few investigations. Like it's. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> as I say that. He's there. As I like say that. It's like he's walking by. It's like he's yeah. walking by. Wow. No he's way. There. He's there. What? Can you go and touch that red light again? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> that was perfect timing. Oh, no way. What? Can you make that thing go off again? Just go touch this light right here. Oh, oh, oh no, he's right there. Thank you. Do you? Oh, oh no. If you're a cowboy, do you recognize us? We were here three years ago in this very room. It's like, nah, I only care about girls. Whoa! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. okay. Right as you said, yeah. I don't care about girls. Uh -huh. Do you like to kiss women in this room? <laughs> yeah. They really like to kiss women in their sleep in this room. Is that true? You might be a little shy because there's actually in their sleep. It could be there. true. That is so creepy. Oh my god. Oh, oh that thing never. Whoa. That never goes off. Uh, never without the rim pop. Yeah. Is that you sitting down? What was that? Just Greg's. If you're still here with us, can you make our rim pod go off again like you did before? Go and touch that light real quick. If you want us to leave, just turn on one of the devices one last time and we'll leave. <gasps> oh, it doesn't answer us for that long? I want to know why it wants us to leave. Or what if do you only want the boys to leave? Oh, there's an ultimatum. <laughs> now he wants us all to get the no. fuck out. He's like, no, fuck all of you. Okay. Alright, kissing cowboy. Do you want Mackie and I to leave and just the boys to stay? 
No. Hmm. And he was literally like, yo, no, this is my last time. I'm like, I want you guys to leave. Yeah, get out of here. He was answering questions, answering questions. I know. Hit the cab all and was like, nah. Leave. Yep, done. I don't recognize you guys. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. There was also a lot of energy to use up. We're going to go to the concert hall. We want to invite you to come with us. If you want to come talk to us over there, you're fully welcome. If you're going to follow us over to the concert hall, can you make that REM pod go off on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh! 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm not talking to you now, but I'm going to follow your Yeah, ass. I'm going to follow you and watch. Not on two. It went off on three. No, okay, thank you. Bro, I swear I saw someone over there right before it went off, sitting on the foot of the bed. Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, really? It looked like a shadow. Dude, the timing. Uh, That's yeah, undeniable. Yeah. At the very, very beginning of today, you said you felt like a presence in here. Do you still feel that or anything? Yes. It doesn't feel like it's malevolent. Like, it just feels like... But even when you ask, like, do you want to come with us? It kind of felt like like a whole, I don't need an invitation to come with you. Mm, All right, well, I'm going oh, anyway. Let's go to the concert hall, a.k.a. <gasps> the most haunted part of the stadium. Right after it passes midnight. Oh, uh, one more time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. She got so soft. Well, these are some dome domes. Apparently, Lucy interacts with these. And we're going to the concert hall right now where she haunts it. Apparently, everybody knew that the concert hall was the most haunted spot except for us last time. We came back just for you. So why not freaking go down and like the video? <laughs> you know, you wanna see us yeah, come back right? again? It's for free. It's for free. It's free and it makes us happy. Don't you wanna make us happy in this blizzard of a snowstorm? We're doing this for you guys. Yes. Can't feel my nipples. We love you. The <laughs> night at the concert hall begins. We got secret access from our boy Jackie over here. Oh God. Mm. It almost feels like <laughs> thick, almost. You get that? Like, mm. almost stuffy type of feeling? <laughs> you chose the word thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Through yogurt thick and type of thing. Stuffy. Okay. Jello. Jello, yeah, that's Jello. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just really like a big thick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my God. So, that same mirror I was telling you about downstairs? The mirror? Turns out we actually got an extra photo here, and it lets us know that we do have at least 13 spirits in this building alone. In fact, uh, the person who would take this would immediately leave the tour afterwards. Because that's the only person in the photograph right there. Oh, what? Wait, that's the only person? Yep, that'll be the only person. What the f- No. This mm -hmm. one is literally looking at her, yelling. Mm. This one is just looking. Mm-hmm. Someone right here. Yeah. Right here. I think these mm. are. Please play. There's so like so many. Like, what is that flash? That flash is from the phone that she's holding right there. According to Christian theology, that is what a demon is right there. From where he was standing in the photo to where she was taking it, he would probably be about seven foot eight, somewhere oh. around this tall right here. That's as tall terrifying. as that. Yeah. He'd probably play basketball in real life. Oh yeah, definitely. Hell yeah, he'd be the tallest player ever. Demon on the court right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tallest cool. basketball player yeah. ever. Flora is mostly seen like walking around here while playing piano up there. Uh, actually, you want to go up to the one place where we uh, do see those shadow forms appear some of the time? Yes. Yes, yes, here we do. It's right up these stairs, oh, actually. Beautiful. Okay. Up here would be where some of the more VIP guests would stay. Oh. Apple and Flora would sit roughly right around here, oh. looking on into the concert ahead. Oh, that's oh, wow. awesome. This is where their shadow forms have been known to appear. In fact, Eddie and uh, Paul also like to appear up here from time to time to <laughs> kind of get an overlook of the concert hall. The girl that I saw in my, our room earlier is Flora. She's in the concert hall with us. Wait, the girl that's in your room? Oh, yeah, oh, oh that Flora. visited you earlier? That showed me the Ouija board? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was Flora. Is she saying something to you or is she just showing you things? No, I, I just saw, okay, I just saw her. Like, I haven't had, like, anything pop up yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. I definitely know that she's here with us. Wow. Mm. Does she look the same? She looks the exact same. Does she look nothing like any of the pictures I've seen her in. Mm -hmm. She's showing up as, like, probably in, like, 25. If you oh, die, why would you come back as, like, your old self? Why not, like... 25 years old. Just so you guys right. know, we have a flashlight set up there, right there. We heard that Flora likes flowers. Flora literally means flowers, I believe. Is there any way you can make yourself known? We brought you some flowers. You can go touch that flashlight up there. That'll be a good way to let us know that you're here. It sounds so weird, but like when she showed me the Ouija board earlier in the room, I knew it wasn't in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Cause like normally Ouija boards freak me out. Cause yeah. I, I won't mess with that kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But like- oh, Flashlight's on. Oh. I can come up there and give you company. 
Do you want Sam to come up with you? Stop touching the flashlight if you do. <gasps> oh, oh, my oh my god. My goodness. I really like her. Like I feel like I relate to her a lot. In oh, case, okay. Um, that was the creepiest that? movie you could ever say. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm coming up. Can you turn the light back on, Flora? <laughs> <laughs> She's right here. I freak you out, but when that happened, he turned around, your hair went like this. Like it, I felt it, no, I literally felt it. It's all static, yeah. It feels like there's like a magnet above my head and it's just like, oh, wow. you know what I mean? Maybe oh, wow. Could, uh, sing for us or hum something. I got it, I got it. It literally <laughs> turned on right as I sat down. Did you like touch near it? It's he sitting with him. I'm not even sitting mm. down yet. I just came into the presence and I was like, hey, how's it going? It's like going more dim and then brighter. Alright, can you turn that off for me? Oh, I see it. It's like... Yeah. <gasps> this one just turned on! No. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Arrived. Nine. Shot. Yeah. Wait, oh, is this your box? Dude, this obelisk just said, arrived. Nine. Nine. The first time we came in this room at all tonight was around nine o'clock. Flora, we heard that you loved doing these spiritual seances, and we actually really like doing that too. That's why we're here, actually. So if you want to just help us out with our own seance and show yourself, now would be the time. Are you still up here with me? Can you turn this flashlight on? Frigid. Frigid. Mm. Cold? Lucy? Yeah. Is there someone else here besides Flora? Oh, hell no. What the hell happened? Oh. The plank is a porch. I've been like thinking my eyes have been playing tricks on me because there's no lights on and I'm just nervous. Shot. Sam, what is that saying up there? It said alive and then shot. Chain. Chain. This thing is going off a lot. Man, yeah. I said there's someone up there with you. They're not in that side of the box, so they're in the middle one. Can you guys come over here? Can you use these devices to communicate? No. What if it doesn't want to Get talk? Get out of there, kind of like 428 wants us to like just leave. It says picture. Beast. Picture beast. Or the demon that was in my picture. Oh. And that turned on when I said demon. Felt. Felt. Mm. Did anybody feel anything crazy? I feel scared. <sighs> Are we talking to something evil? Can you turn off this flashlight right in front of us? Oh yeah. my god. You think that it wants us to take a picture in the downstairs mirror and you can capture a picture oh, of it? Oh, shit. That's a good idea. Good, of good of thinking. There's anybody else here that here talking to us. Can you give us a sign that you're gonna come downstairs with us? Can you turn on one of our flashlights? Yes! Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh my god! Yeah. Right I saw that. that. That's her sign. That's the sign. Thank you so much. Follow us downstairs. We want to take a picture in oh, this crazy gosh. mirror. This is gonna look crazy. <gasps> Lie. Lie? Lie. Yeah, I'm lying. Dude, I don't think we're talking to like a nice spirit or like Flora at all. Flora either. That just turned back on. Yeah. We are in uh, Paul's room, I believe, and... It smells like ass in here. Oh, God. Really? I, no, I, I just got a crazy headache. No joke. Like a fucking... Like stabbing? What light was that? Wait, 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 did he what? just turn that light on? What? This light, see, right here? Yeah. I think he, he might have just went to this other room, but that light just like brightly turned up. Guys, we are in Paul's room right now. He died of a yeah. heart attack. Apparently, he's not all that bad of a dude, but the hot spots are this chair right here and the toilet. Maybe he's a nice guy, but he doesn't like people here after hours, and we are way far after hours. There's no concert hall. Yeah, come on, us. Wait, that was not that was good. What was that beat? It sounds like something's rolling. Yeah. I thought he was just gonna be over in that room right there. That's what he said. I feel like he wouldn't be moving. Yeah, he knows we're trying yeah. to investigate. Mm. There's no way that's him. What? Whoa! Decap. What? 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 Does it feel heavy? Fuck! I am really? not kidding. I just had like a crazy. Yeah, it feels ass. heavy. <gasps> like headache. It's like coming in like waves. You like step out and see if it goes away. It's only happened in this room all night. Paul, is this you giving us a sign that you're with us? Weird. You want to leave this room? Are I don't you good? know. It's um, that's so weird. That does not happen usually. I just never get like headaches like that. We could. Uh, we have literally two more rooms to invest. What the fuck? Wait, that? that wasn't you? No. What was oh, it? That was the toilet was that my... just went off. The toilet just fucking flushed. Yeah. Wait, is it just one of those things that like it's like a Water reoccurring? No. 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 Why would it? 
What are the odds? It literally sounded like the toilet like flush. It did. Right it did. after we were talking about all that. Because there was like the big burst and then it it's like, ran for a little bit. Yeah. What the hell? All right, Paul, if you're with us and you can give us another sign. This is not a joke. No. That was you that no, made no. the toilet flush. Can you do that again? Or you can touch this ball that we have in the middle of the room or go walk into the bathroom and that will set off our music box. What the fuck is that? I hear it. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. That light just flashed on and off again. We need to ask him if he's like in that room. If he's fucking or something. No, no, no. He probably doesn't even know we can see that. You know you're a security guard here. You know you don't want people here past curfew. <gasps> Sounds like a, like a squeak of a chair or something. <laughs> Last chance, Paul. If you want to make yourself known in any way, can you give us an obvious sign? You want to talk to us? No. Maybe he did leave, because, yeah, my headache completely went away. Oh, wow. Yeah, he probably... I still can't explain the toilet though. Like that was crazy. No, the toilet flushed. The two places in this yeah. room. See, the light went off. You see what we're talking about? It's off. Let's go find the guy and see if he's doing that shit. Yes. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The room, the the just touched my feet. What? It just touched my feet. Seriously? Yeah. We were this. I was so far away. Like something just touched this, like so hard. Do you know if the outside light is motion censored? <laughs> Because it was turning on and off the entire time we were in there. Talk to us, talk to us, talk to us. Oh, it was in the book. Wait, but was it the women's bathroom? It was in the women's bathroom. Dude, something was in the bathroom. Wait, yeah. It smells like sex in here. It smells like sex. Isn't that Paul's scent? Or is that somebody else? Is that is Paul tobacco? The cowboy. We told the cowboy. He said he would light turned on and off, on and off. Multiple times. Is that one off too? There's not a window. There's not a window. So it was a man. Bathroom, like at all? No way! It was going off and off. Like, there's, there's not a time. chance that there's somebody else in this place. That was the sign. It was just giving it to us like, yeah. in another room. Then so how was the them. light? Like you said, off. you like saw Woo. that. Yeah, so it was like this, and I like I thought it was motion censored him walking around. Yeah. The thing about that though is that if you flip on the light, you can't even see it from where I'm sitting right here. So you wouldn't have sure even know. Saw something, but we have it on camera. Damn, he was. Yes, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot here. Yeah. It tends to happen with our group. I don't know how. Cool. Sick. All right. Well, I'm going to have a sweet drive here. Home <laughs> Cheers. Maybe we'll like, stay at the hotel with us little. and you'll have an easy night. Uh, it's, this is haunted. You kidding me? I stayed here. <laughs> yeah, I ain't staying here. in Lucy's room. We got some dum dums. We're going to oh, set okay, them up. Well, Apparently, okay. some people have literally filmed them holding dum dums and it would like a rotate. Lucy, are you here? Mackie and I have these little dum dums, lollipops on our hand. I literally feel like something's touching mine. Can you rotate them for us? Maybe spin them in a circle? My hand is perfectly still. Wait, is it doing something? No, it's just like twitching almost. What's that bear you Oh my have? gosh, this is called a boo buddy. So is that too? Oh. Well, we kind of think that we have a lot of luck with children ghosts. If there's something near it, the paws will light oh, up. It detects okay. yeah. any motion, temperature, um, movement, like if something yeah. touches it. So Dang. it has different phrases it'll yeah. say. If it's like, I love it when you hold my hand, then something's grabbing its hand. If it says that tickles or like, you touched my tummy, then something's touching the body of the bear. Oh, oh shit. Uh, That's really cool. If it hears cool. anything at all, it'll say. That's say so that like. Again? Pinpoint accurate about oh, everything. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Because then it's like you envision where they're talking. Yeah, oh, obviously. Yeah, I know uh, that's the purpose of it, but it's like. Yeah, that's so cool. And it's kind of like everything in one. Oh, God. So it's just like a normal EVP yeah. question. She looks with fire. <laughs> So that's oh, something touched it. it. That's something what? touched it. What? Already? It's it's like, like, there's, there's, do you think Lucy just like saw it and like, picked it up? Or... I think she absolutely touched it or whatever's in there touched it. Lucy, we have a bunch of lollipops for you around. We know that's your favorite candy. If you want any, feel free. That's a temperature that's change. A temp yeah. That's a temperature, temperature change? change? That's such a cool Lucy, device. Lucy, we have a bunch of games for you out Very here. Detailed. You can touch any of our devices around and we'll... That's something touched touch something. What if I put this guy in here? Lucy, is that really you? Are you in there? Can you grab that bear again or make? Oh, oh, right, better. Yo, you don't have to be afraid of us if you're hiding. If you want to talk to us or hang out with us or play some games, can you make this rim pod go off again? Just go and touch it like you just did. Do you have any brothers or sisters? It's normal. Deal. You want to make a deal? 
Oh. Oh. First time we asked, it like tested it out, but maybe she's just scared. Like if it is like a little girl yeah. energy. Oh, that's something. Like, uh, oh, my name is Amanda. My name is Mackie. My name is Colby. And my name is Sam. And we just want to talk, make friends. If you'd like us to stay, can you make any of our devices go off? I think that she's scared that we're gonna make her leave, but I just feel like she doesn't trust us. Mm -hmm. What if we sit down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where's the REM pod? REM pod just went off. Good job, Lucy. Can you make that happen again? Just like that. Do you know what color the light in Boo Bear's tummy is? Oh, oh. my. Oh. Can you come on out here, Lucy? Jesus. All I see is cold beer right now. That flashlight yeah. hasn't worked at all. Wait, what if it's not Lucy? If you go by another name besides Lucy, can you give us a sign? We don't want to get your name wrong. We want to be friends. Come on, come on. Maybe Lucy's room isn't haunted. Or maybe Lucy's somewhere else. She might be, or maybe she's in the closet and just doesn't want any attention right now. And... That's... Good job! Really good. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like the most haunted part of the entire Stanley Hotel is in this room right there. Right next to the mirror mm. with the two demons. Oh, wait. Jackie! Jackie! That's the guy! Whoa! Oh, should go. Wait, let's go, let's go. I just want to see. Wait, like it's known for a long time. Jackie! Did something happen out here? It just said Jackie. Like on this thing, it will just like randomly spurt out words and it went Jackie. Okay. Yeah. It sounded like is your friend like Jackie. Like, Jackie. What's up? She may like me or may not. She has called me a nerd uh, and to leave and get out. A nerd. <laughs> get out, nerd. Yeah, like, to the night close to the room too, though. The most haunted spot in this whole complex is right there. Would be right there. All right, sounds like we have one final, final investigation. investigation. Yo, what if the person doing the SS method is just staring into the mirror the whole time? <laughs> oh, that's so oh. Up. oh, so how's he No, no I'm, he's doing it. He got the practice. Things are not looking good for you right now, Sam. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> it's always Sam who like sets these. <laughs> he always sets these, but never wants to do them. Mm -mm. He always does that. And then when he does, he's like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Nose goes. You were the one with the practice nose. nose. <laughs> okay. The final this investigation. Was actually originated in this very room. Is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? Oh. You can go up to this light. You can go up to. The temperature is going off now, right? When you said that. What? Isn't heat a bad thing, though? Heat? Oh. Yo! Oh. That hasn't gone off all day. Tonight we talked to a lot of people. We're inviting everybody we talked to tonight to meet us right here in the basement. Cowboy if you followed us, Flora if you're around, F.O. Stanley if you're around. Oh my God. Paul, Lucy. Or if there's something that has been following Sam for the past month or so, or even longer. We want to know that you're here. Mm. Mm. Nothing. You know what is weird? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, what was that? That was your ring? Does that happen? No. What if we do this? What if we bring down the flowers, take one of the Jack Daniels bottles for Paul, over there a lollipop from Lucy's mm. room, and then ask if they want to talk. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. The cat ball. As we were like, let's go. To go get their stuff. Yeah, they, that might be exciting. Sign that like they wanted? I think that's a sign. Let's do it. Oh, it's going off again. All right, sounds good. We're going. No way. What happened? Jack, you're over there. I just came up that staircase because I thought he was gonna scare me because I heard people walking on the staircase. Someone walking like this. So maybe as we left the room, they all entered. All right, let's oh. go back down. That's a good sign. I saw some meds right, right here. here. Oh, that's the first time that happened too. Did that just come on? Because I did not notice that. It just went on. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. And you guys just brought some trigger objects. I know I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but I think it's the light. Whoa. Well, I think that we got... Uh... Gathered them all here. And just to let you know, trigger on big boys, we got the flowers for Flora, you got the lollipop for Lucy, this is for the cowboy, the scar, and then this is for Mr. Oh my gosh. Right in front of the portal too. We're gonna mm. do the Estes in a second, but hopefully the things pick up now. Oh, oh they're really gonna sit in front of the mirror. 
the flashlight. Just turn it on and off and on. Right as you said the SS method. Mm -hmm. You, you recognize that? Uh, yeah. The buzzing I thought was from the <laughs> I mean, it was created in front of their eyes. Colby <laughs> is literally going to be looking at the <gasps> demon here. <laughs> and you just learned how to properly get yourself in a trance. Mm -hmm. Can you turn them both off on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh, Hold on. But he has more experience yeah, with it, but now he knows yeah, how to do yeah. it properly. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Apple, let's get started. Oh my god. Uh, how is this going to start? We're here, ahead? Stanley. Not you. He came down to the most haunted room in the Stanley to, to talk to. I want to say it's not easy. It's not easy to talk? What's not easy? Communication. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, well then we'll make it quick. Energy. Is there something we can do to make it easier? Yeah, feel free to use... Cold. Relax. Were you someone that was here at the hotel? Holy shit. Dude, sorry for stopping this so fast, but I just got this weird breath, like a... Like three times oh. in the mm. In the music box? Yeah, I've never heard that before. Like as if someone was out of breath. Yeah, like panting oh. three times in a row. Cold. Do you recognize us? Yeah. Maybe. Or no. running. Like, mm. just got done running. Oh my. Cold. <gasps> oh? Well, that's what I keep thinking too. Can you give us some sort of hint as to who you are? Friend. Friend. Oh. Are you the same person we were talking to earlier in 428? Yes. <gasps> oh. It's been me. It's been me. Oh. Me. It's been you as in like for a long time? Have you always been in 428? Who are you? Can you give us a name? Huh. You really know. Do you want me and Amanda to talk to you? Instead of... Instead of me. Instead of, yeah. Mm. All right. Breathe. Can you tell us what your name is? Everything. Does that mean you have multiple names? Do you control multiple names? Oh. Multiple. Oh, multiple. Oh my god. god. I just got full body chills. I've been here. Oh, oh. my fucking god. You've been here. Can yeah. you give us a number, a date? Hundred. Hundred. Do you not want to talk to Sam? Take me. Take You're me. not welcome trouble. to come with us. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you think that we could help you? Yes. <sighs> Is that why you want to oh. be my friend? Yes. <gasps> and the light went on at the same time. Keep me. No, no. no. You are not welcome to stay with Sam. Do you hear me? Why do you want to be no. my friend? Please be aware. Bro, I, my eyes Wait. are watering right now. Like, when he said take me, that freaked me out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you yeah. want to be my friend? Hope. Something else, like you said, multiple. It's like the conjuring house. Do you remember how you had the soldiers trapped? Yeah. Are you trapped? Do you think Sam can free you? Do you not want to talk to us Something. anymore? You hear the dee 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 dee. Please talk to my what? Talk to, to one of the other oh. people. To one of the oh. Can you help me? <gasps> what is the reason why you're still here? Power? Or Power. What? No Power. Way. That was too on point. What? Energy. I was gonna say, what kind of power? What do you need energy for? Or do you need energy Alive. to live? Energy to live! To see. Okay. To see. Is this the one that's here at the Stanley, or the one that's been following you around? Or are they the same? Do you know a little girl? Mm. Hmm. Yes. What letter does it start with? L. No. no. That's what I said. Wait. Yeah. Oh, you said that. Wait, wait. You said that like literally. I'm being traded. Him. Something. Him is trading someone out what? as if multiple things. Like. And there's multiple. Mm -hmm. What's your name? This will be dangerous. Is it dangerous for you? Are you in danger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Sam yes. in danger? Yes. Absolutely. No. Oh my gosh. Dude. No. Full body chills again. It's me. 
I was gonna say who's after Sam. What do you want with Sam? Uh, for energy to be alive um, and is dangerous. That's what I'm saying, how I'm like, maybe he sticks with you because you have that drive, like you'll push it, you know what I mean? You you oh. want to be proven, you want, like you'll, you'll scare yes. yourself. Yes. You'll scare yourself to have like that proof. And that's what they need, like is that energy to survive. Like this has literally said everything that we've said today. What I'm thinking. Conduit? Conduit. Wait, what's a conduit? A conduit? Yes. Or maybe it's an actual conduit. Oh, 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 oh! Because Con I don't know exactly what it means, but Connor was saying you have to become a conduit. And become as much of a conduit as you can. It did. Yeah, it like you're the middleman. You're basically the spirit box. Like you're the conduit. Yes. Oh! This is not happening right now. We're having a full conversation through Kobe. He wants me to continue because, like you said, maybe I'm taking up Dolly's energy. Connor, please. Problem. If they oh. need energy to be alive, okay. it doesn't necessarily have to be me. They just chose it's almost time. in order to get rid of this thing and or to pass it on. Wouldn't we just need some buddy? Trust us. If it doesn't care about me as a human, all it cares about is being my friend because of the power mm -hmm. of the energy or places. Maybe we right. could leave it here at the Stanley. This is literally the hot spot. This is a battery. Everyone says uh, we're standing on top of an energy battery. What more energy than the Stanley fucking hotel? You were saying how the mirrors can send the spirits me away. Mirrors facing each other to help the spirits. I thought like the new bomb. We should go mm. to the vortex where all the mirrors are facing each other. Let yes. that spirit we go. Yes. Yep. Is that where we should go? Get it out. Yeah. Will you follow us to the vortex? Hallway. The hallway? Kind of. Yeah, okay. yeah. Over there. Yeah. Okay. Where all the pictures are. Pictures in the hallway. Okay. Yeah, oh. the vortex. What happens next? Red stairs. <gasps> yes! No! Yo, that's going off too! You're following me. There's oh. no fucking way you just said red stairs. You said that early. Hey, in your first SSB, you said mm -hmm. red stairs as well. You just said follow me. I'll come back to you. Oh my god. Are my okay? eyes are watering so bad. Oh. You okay? oh my god, that's bright. Sorry. Did Dude, make any sense? No, it made oh. stupid Her sense. Every big sense. single question we asked got answered. Literally, it sounded Dude. like we were having a conversation. That was one of, if not the clearest SS yes. method we've ever done. I thought I was saying some random shit. Like no, it man, it all added up. In the last couple of videos, and then in this one, it said alive. Like, it wants to be alive. It wants to be my friend because it wants to have the energy. What Amanda thought of is if it needs this energy, and it wants to be alive, what better place to be alive no, than the Stanley Hotel? So they're gonna get we rid of it. Good. coming up they're on Witching Hour yeah. right now. I don't know if this thing is good or bad. It just needs someone. If you put out enough energy, positive or negative, it can create a poltergeist, and it happens to be that normally if you put out enough negative energy or have enough in your life, you know what I mean? Then that can manifest into something that is actually like a being. It's like a leech, where they Damn. need to feed off of that energy to survive because that's what they are, is energy. It's just Neat. using you. Yes, it's, it's using. Energy. Unless it's trying it's to get okay. enough energy to take To do something. Over. Okay, we're, yeah. we're not gonna, we're gonna get rid of That's some possession that. shit. And no, we're, not, we're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not like that. Manifestation energy thing, all right? All we're saying right now is it's sucking me dry. Again, we're not <laughs> saying that this is gonna work. We're not even saying that we 100% have proof that this exists or that like we actually have an attachment. We just did some devices, SS method, and we're thinking that it's almost too good to be deniable. There's no other explanation. Mm. I think the best thing that you can do is like I do believe in authority and we have authority over all these energies, whether it's like demonic or poltergeist. Mm -hmm. I believe it's granted to us by a higher power. We don't just have that authority. Mm -hmm. It's given to us. I think that's our best bet is prayer commanding it that it's not allowed to follow you. That it has to stay at the Stanley. You're the one who has the authority over this thing. It's with you. It's following you. You're the one who has to command it to leave from someone that who had true. an attachment for the first 12 years of her life. I just think more- Cause they're not gonna hear from anybody else. Yeah. If you're the only one that could talk to it. More bad can come than good. Or not Whatever talk to I it, say, I kind of just have to take its word that it's going to change. I guess it's just worth a shot. Try it out and see. Just be careful, y'all. We're about to see what's going to happen. If there's something out there that's been with me for a long period of time, if there's someone that's here that, that knows me, I want you to listen. You no longer have the permission to stay with me. I know you've been saying that we're friends, but we're not. You can no longer be here with me. I'm going to leave this place yep. and you need to stay here. I know you have said multiple times that you need power to live and that is why I want you to stay in 
literally one of the most powerful places on earth. Mm. So from now on, do not follow me. Do not follow my friends. Right. You are not welcome to communicate with me. Period. Nice. He said it like, I wouldn't mess with you. Yeah, in season one, we also went to like a couple prisons to like kind of take a break from like these houses and hotels and stuff like that. And when we weren't focused that much on the Sally entity, it didn't show up. And when I'm not looking out for it at our house, it doesn't nearly show up as much. Not really. It's when we go to haunted places and I remember, oh shit. And like, you know why you remember? Because we go to haunted places that coincidentally have like a young girl that haunts yeah. the spot. So it's yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. Sally. But you're saying we might have done this whole thing to ourselves, like manifesting this by going to haunted places that are all having these same hauntings. Dude. And thus, like, I think that I have this. And basically, I'm just thinking it into an existence. All I'm saying is that maybe the paranormal is a lot more psychological than we think. After the interview today, with literally the guy that created the Estes method, I'm like learning way more about like meditation and like how to like really center yourself to like be able to experience that. We go to these spots that do have these like similar spirits, like little girl spirits. Of course, you're going to be thinking of Sally. That makes way more sense to me because even like Connor was saying today, he thinks hauntings in general and especially things like the Essis method are literally just coming from your head. I'm really loving all this idea, but what about the thing that I saw with you before the Conjuring House? Having seen it with my own eyes more Facts. than once, and then that Estes method session that we just did. Oh shit. Lord. We ask for your protection over these next two days as we stay in this hotel dealing with these spirits. Oh, it was for the next two days. We ask for your guidance as we communicate with them. As we try and figure out what's following Sam. Lord, we ask for your protection over Sam. We ask that you place your hands on him and you get rid of whatever attachment, if any, is with him. We ask for your protection for all four of us. For nothing to follow us out of here. For your protection while we're here. Lord, we pray this all in your name. Amen. Damn, there's more. Oh. Oh, uh, why, 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 why? All right, guys, with that, it concludes our season one finale. You guys wanted it back at the Stanley. We are actually not leaving. We are doing a second <laughs> night. We've never done that before, but yeah, That's we're so filming crazy. a video. Mackie and Amanda, so guys, make sure you go check out that video as well. Subscribe oh, to them. Thank you for okay. enduring a very Perfect. long night. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Anytime. Dude, that was a crazy, crazy adventure, and I know we'll be back. 500,000 likes. We got 217. They have a freaking crystal ball. All seance oh. thing in the other yeah. room. Oh. Like we got a lot of other stuff we can come back to. If you want to see oh, behind shit. the scenes or other things we do on these <laughs> trips, go to exploreclub.com. Do it. The extra videos oh, and nice. get the explore merch. merch. Get the freaking merch. That being said, so we'll see them season, season two. two. Whoa, that's weird. Right, we'll see you then, and hopefully you enjoyed season one. Adios. Peace. Oh, Zach Baggins. That name has been popping up a lot on this channel. So, that must mean lie. something correct. I ain't What's gonna lie, bro. This video get up to 50 likes, we will react to the Zach Baggins. Hey. Music. 50 likes on this video, that's all you need. That's all you need. Um, this was scary. No, I feel like it has, it wasn't like a dark, dark feeling until it was the concert hall. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just the architecture of that building is really nice. One, I meant to say that in the first video, mm -hmm. I like the classic look of it. But knowing that, I just, you know, spirits scared me. I wanted to throw up. That's I know like, you did. Dude, 
You've never been like that. I wanted to throw up because it was just so ac- accurate. Yeah, how scary it was. It was just it? very, very mm-hmm. accurate. And it was coming out cleanly and it was talking like... It was just being itself. I think just knowing that it was being itself, it just made it ten <laughs> times worse. It was scary. I, dude, I wanted to throw up. That's why you're going to see a weird cut in the middle of this. But there's also other areas that are going to be good. But, um, yeah. So, um... I don't know what is it. Someone at my job mentioned that they had went to like an abandoned asylum. Mm-hmm. I and, think, and and that they did the board, and I was like, "Stay away! Yeah, stay, stay the away, fuck away from me, please!" <laughs> but that was crazy. Um, no, I love these videos, and I like Amanda Mackey. Yes. So now, if, like we said, 50 likes, 50 for likes. Both of those. Both of those. Part two. Part two. And we'll also, um, like we said, react to Zach Baggins' museum. Um, and even if it isn't Sam and Kobe, we'll just find a video that you guys will like. So, with that being said, we are out. Well, peace. peace. See, See you guys, guys in the, the next one. one.